Hey what is up guys, this is Sasha Zutam and I am back with my new video and this time this will be an informational one. So do you have a limited internet connection and uh, is your computer eating up all of your data and even when you are not using it? So you have landed on the right spot and you are learning how to uh, reduce the data consumption by your computer when you are on a limited network. So these are a few tips and tricks which will change your connection to a fast one as your computer background services will not be using it. So coming in at number one we have resource monitor and in the, this we can use this tool to checking all of our resources including the network connection. So for checking the network connection, we I have some uh, tabs open here, some processes going on here with an uh, internet connection. So just go to Windows plus R, run and type Rasmon and hit, hit OK. You will see a window with, uh, with details of your different uh, things of your computer and go to the network tab. Here you can see the different processes which are consuming internet right now and uh, these are the different things I have opened, opened here. You can also check the processes, process ID which is PID of these processes by going to the task manager. There are also some background processes running like SD network and SVC host etc. So you can go to task manager and uh, go to the services tab and details tab and check the process id for which process is running so for example we check the process id of ie explorer so it is not a service it is an app so we have to go to details and we check the details of ie explorer so here is the same matching process ID and in this way you can find the details of some processes which are not given in detail manner. So coming at number two is disable windows background services. So I am browsing something in Google Chrome and I have some tabs open and I am utilizing much of my internet bandwidth. So going to resource monitor, we have only Chrome using the internet and other services are literally not using it. And uh, you can see I have a 2G connection going on here so it is not much speed. But when I stop doing my regular work and start some of uh, uh, movies and recordings and everything other things that not use the internet then background services start running and you can see the svchost.exe which uses a lot of internet and this service is used by bits which i will explain next so basically what bit is, bit is it stands for background intelligent transfer service so b i t s bit so it is a service that is used by windows to schedule and work out all those necessary data sending and receiving from a computer to the server and vice versa uh, at the proper time. So it, what it does is it utilizes the network connection when it is idle. So when you are not using your internet connection, it just flows it up with its data and uh, eats all of your limited internet connection data. So taking an example, uh, let's say you are using 80% of your bandwidth and uh, the rest 20% will be used by this. So it schedules all the system tasks in the 20% of uh, the bandwidth. So if that 20% keeps on working and working, it will eat up all your data. And uh, let's say you stop the stop browsing and stop your internet tasks and then the bits will go up to like 90% or 100% of the bandwidth uses and internet consumption will become so high that it will all eat all of your limited internet data connection. So disabling it might be a little bit risky, but uh, it makes it all 
because it has more pros than cons if you are on a limited internet connection. So let's see how to disable this. So as we discussed earlier, Pets uses the process svchost.exe and we will be disabling it by going to task manager. So you can run the task manager like this and go to services tabs and find bits. Right click on it and uh, go to stop. And you will see that it will stop and gradual slow down in its data access rate. So to disable automatic updates, go to start menu and type update. And you will see the windows update option there. Go to change settings and you may keep it on never check for updates uh, or check for updates but not download them and click on ok. So now you can manually update by clicking on check for updates. So click here to watch how to add two WhatsApp accounts in the same phone and click my face to watch how to speed up or boost the performance of your Adobe After Effects. Be sure to subscribe, click here, click here to subscribe. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like the video. Click the like button down there if you, if you like the video and you are helped. And uh, subscribe for more videos. The subscribe button down below. That helps a lot and I appreciate it as always. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.